Today we find ourselves in the company of three German upright vacuum cleaners, one of which is probably about to get pooed on, so keep an eye on that. Yes, I have my Vorwerk VK121, the oldest of these, my 135 slash 136 that we cobbled together from two completely different machines and Mr. James's VK200, the one that he bought for £20 and is now clean, tidy and repaired. Idea of today's video is pretty simple. We're just going to have a look at all three, see where the changes are, see what the generational improvements are, and maybe pick up a bit of dirt and see if we can spot any differences. Let's have a Vorwerk day and see what fun we can have. My vacuum clear chums, how are you today? Yes, I have three very different meters here, so I thought, why not make a video featuring all of them? And as you can see, this one has to lean up, because the first difference that we can see is that these early ones had zero parking control at all. In fact, this one leans forward so much and falls over, because the bits in here that should stop it doing that are broken. So this one's gonna have to sort of stay there ah, eh, in the hope that it doesn't fall over. But obviously these two, well this one's again a little bit dodgy, sort of works, these two do stand up. What are we going to do with them today? Well we may as well try them all out, they all have bags in them, they all worked when I last tried them and I guess we should start with the oldest of the cleaners. This is my one two one i think it is from the early 1990s oh i could tell you no, sorry vk120 from 1989 you can just see them on the rating stickers under there and this is the only dirty fan that we have in our vol work light up today so that should give us a slight difference already but Bar that, they are pretty similar. Oh, still works though, that's good. Yeah, bar the fact this is dirty fan, it is a little bit similar to this in terms of the floor heads share a lot of similarities under the hood. Obviously both same sort of style. Bag on here which comes off, I won't take this off because it's a fact to get the bag back in. But bar that, that's probably where the similarities end. This one is pretty old school, it's not vintage, it's certainly a modern vor work with this ET340. And it works absolutely beautifully. Start making some strange noises from the floor. This one has a pretty minty motor in it, I seem to remember, as well. So there is possibly the quietest sounding one. Are you stand up there? Excellent. Let's move on and get plugged in and check it still works. The middle-aged of the three. Now, stepping forward into the mid-2000s, we can immediately have some differences to play with. We have variable speed control and we can turn the brush roll off on this ET, or oh sorry, EB351, the floor head, which I bought out of the loft with this. So we'll start in setting one. And in setting one, you can hear the brush roll the most. And if we go up to the higher setting, We can hear the clean 
fan motor doing its thing and of course we can turn the brush roll off should we wish to do our hard floors without having to change the entire head like you do on the older model. Although of course this still comes with a dedicated hard floor head as well. I just didn't bother bringing it down for this video because we don't need to go that nuts. Then of course we move on to the pretty much current day. This is the model that we have now and I'm going to tear off the protective film from the brand new top shell that this EB400 head is now wearing and well we have lots of different things to play with in this. Number one, turn it on, it just sits there because it is in pause mode. This this caught me out in the before video of this because obviously I wasn't aware of it. You've got to put that down. And yeah, we are in the soft mode, which is very low power. Medium, which is already gluing itself down to the floor. Very nice machine this is. The more I've used it, the more I really do like it. Then you can go to high. Ugh where it becomes incredibly difficult to push, puts very deep track marks in this carpet. Oh, there's auto, which seems to just be staying on soft because there's not a lot of dirt on this rug. Now that we have cleaned it with both, although again, we can go on to the hard floor. And this one automatically stops the brush run. Very fancy indeed. Still smells vaguely of the air freshener that was in it when I had it, but it's certainly very faded now. And on the face of it, that is these three machines. They both work very well. They both do their own things. They are both an improvement in some ways over the others. This is where this video gets a little bit controversial because if you speak to the right or the wrong wall work people they actually say that this machine here, the dirty fan older one, is the best simply because they just did not break really. They went on forever. Unless you physically broke it, chances are your wall work VK120 or 121, which is basically the same machine, goes on until it physically wears out. These, as we know from having to ping this one together, these like to burn out their motors because there's a heck of a lot of airflow resistance when you're ploughing through your carpet on max power. And the reports I've heard is that in daily use, the motors in these really don't last very long, as I can confirm the fact that I bought my first one completely broken. And then there's this, which is too new, really, to have fallen down low. I mean, Mr. James got an absolute bargain buying this for £20. That's, that's not its value, that's just a bargain. You know, we all have those. But the floor head in this was full of rubbish because the airflow paths are very, very small. And they're just not old enough yet for, you know, the ones that burn out to have come onto the market. So all is still up in the air with the modern one but certainly with these two here people would choose the old one two one but does that mean that one cleans better than the other well i think it's the time of the video where we get the rug pretty filthy and we'll see if any of these work the best now with these two we have a little bit of a conundrum because obviously we have choices we have different speed settings so I think with the bottom one, we're going to use it on auto, see if it can sense that it's picking up a lot of dirt and see what it does. And with this one, I'm going to leave it in setting two, because that should be absolutely plenty. Setting three is just going to glue itself down too hard and not really do much else. So, let's put some dirt down and we'll see what happens. Now that I've confirmed that they all work, which I've done before we make a mess. Always check stuff first before you get too deep into things. There we go. Hopefully we have enough width to do a forward and back pass with all three of them. And we'll start with the oldest one in the room. 
turn it on, and we'll see what happens. Oh, no power. What is that? That's not bad though, especially since this is a dirty fan machine, it's not dropping anything out, it's just snow ploughed a bit, which, who knows, the rest might do it as well. Let us try the 135 on setting 2, 1, 2. And this one again snow ploughed and left more of a pronounced line of shame than the older model. Although the older model left a bit more lightweight dirt than this one did. Okie dokie. Well, you're still going to snow plough, but I'm going to put this one in auto, which I can do without having to have it turn on, and we'll see how it does. Even in auto mode, that wasn't bad. There was also no line of shame. This one has a better undercarriage, which doesn't really leave them. It's a shame about that snow ploughing, though. I reckon if we bring that back here... And I think we'll use the oldest and the newest. It shouldn't blow me electric. These are both quite low powered. And we'll see how they do. I'll leave this one in medium. say this older model is picking up exactly the same amount of dirt as this newer one is. Just, you know, newer ones possibly slightly more efficient at it. But again, they're both still snow ploughing quite badly. There's no manual height control on these. Oh. So yeah, they're just, they're just snow ploughing everything up. I bet if I chuck this one on max, it's going to really snow plough. Oh yes. And then it drags it all back, that's just too much to really use. We'll leave them all so. But, hey, snow plowing. If I come off the edge of the rug, oh, drop you down a bit. It gets it. drop this one off the edge of the rug, it should probably pick it up as well. This one will pip it to the post because of its generation improvements. But crikey, this one is certainly getting all the bits off of this rug. Why don't we put something that's a little bit deeper pile down and see if things change? Because this one should, I think... Oh, I can't lay it down. That, that's the slight problem with this one. You can't really do much with it. But this one, I think doesn't have it actually none of these have automatic height control so let's get some very deep pile carpet and see if that affects them it's time to crack out the old deep pile carpet remember that long-term views of my channel well it's still here and there's actually a lot of dirt in here but you can rub it right into the pile so you know it seems a bit less we'll take out the big stuff especially with this first one being Dirty fan, I have zero interest in fixing that afterwards. 
might be able to get to, but I think we'll clean this all up one at a time. This is very thick, deep, dense pile carpet, enough to make a V11 head stall. See how these do. up with the dirty fan forward with very little poles for thought for me. It's crikey. Yeah, it's all gone. Nothing's really coming out of it at all. Right, I'm going to dump a load more down and we'll move on to the second one. We shall go clean fan, middle age now. See if this one does any better. I think I might try it on setting one, setting two and setting three. So here's setting one. Notice there's enough suction to really pull the dirt back, so it will not open up. Ooh. Also becoming quite hard to push now. Ah. Well, um, ah. Ooh, okay. ah. Wow. Oh, there we go, look. This is too powerful for the rug on number three. We'll stay on second two. Obviously, this rug is like big enough to help, but it's not doing as well as the older one. It takes way more passes to get everything up. There's no worries about it not being powerful though. A bit of carpet needs a good vacuum, this is certainly doing it now. So, ooh, this didn't do quite as well as a dirty fan one. Too much suction didn't do it any good. So, I wonder how this is going to come, because again, we could do all three settings on this. And again, I know the biggest setting is going to move the rug again. Let's set it up, and we'll start off on low, I'll then go up to medium, and we'll attempt to go on to high. So, so soft. Soft first. Oh, no. That's feeling a lot. Now it's just difficult to push. Especially on this. Oh, these aren't very nice and deep pile. Let's try that. Ah, oh, God. oh, ah. Oh. Didn't like that. Ah. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, crikey, the modern one doesn't like this at all. Let's try auto. Which, I think auto runs off the brush on drag. Go back to medium. Didn't like medium. Oh, this isn't nice. This isn't very nice at all. What's also happening, which... You probably can't see from down there. So this handle is very, very loose. And in fact, I did see... In fact, no, I lied earlier. There was one of these. It was in Leicester on Facebook. And I was ever so tempted, but the handle was all smashed off the top. Wow! I'm a little bit surprised by that. I mean, I'm sure on the right carpet this is nice. But for this excessively deep pile, seems that the actual winner... It's the dirty fan, oldest one. Well, I'm there. Well, smack it on the top. Yeah, dirty 
dirty fan without excessive suction, only one setting to choose from rather than having to go around all of the different ones on the modern ones. Yeah. How's that for a turn up? I mean, I'm sure back on this normal rug, this is probably going to do better because it, it, it can't suck it up. And yes, it is. Then we go to Max. Oh, because this rug is quite so mild, it can do it very well, even on soft. I mean, it's go out the way. I'd say the worst. It's certainly the beefiest, and I think it does move nicer. scenarios where the older cleaner is better than the newer cleaner, the middle-aged cleaner is better than the newer cleaner, and again, possibly not as good, in my opinion, as the older one, although there are obviously practical differences that do make this a lot nicer to use than this, but for actual, you know, cleaning of the carpet, whew, interesting. Let's check the bags, because the bags on these two want to be emptied or removed before they go back into storage and we'll see how full the bag on this one is. Ah, there we are then. Oh, what a what a confusing outcome. Phoenix, don't come on. Off the people. There we go. What a confusing outcome because I mean I've just off camera here you know, done a little bit more. This is nicer for going on and off of the different surfaces. But again if you stick it anything more than soft even on the laminate it just sticks down. Whew, how interesting. Right, let us check the bag in this because it's very full. Mr. James has some spare bags. Yeah, little tiny bags, but HEPA, yeah, not too bad. Right, we'll leave that off. Can I still... Ooh, ah, oh yeah, I can't now tear it up without the bag fitted. Um, right, well, we'll leave that there for now work something out. I might just have to refit it until Mr. James picks it up. Mr. James does have lots of bags for it, but I don't think he left me with one. No, he didn't. All we've got is... Well, actually, we do have a new filter for it, which I haven't yet fitted until we film this, so maybe we should do that. And it sits under here. Oh, it stinks. Of, ah, look, here's that air freshener. Okay, that might be why it still smells. We'll have that off. And we shall take this new Pax and Pax Pax filter here and slot it back in. How do you slot it back in? Oh my goodness. That doesn't feel very secure. It's only sort of slotted in there. But hey, one brand new filter fitted. And I think with this one, if we rip the bag, this is always a hack to be able to store machines without a bag if you don't want it to be full of dirt. Although you've got to be very careful to not turn it on until you fit a belt. Look, there's a metal spring on the back. That's very fancy. Yeah, I think we'll put this back on here, however it went. And then at least that can shut itself and not smell while it waits to be picked up see how the middle-aged one did. Oof. Now this is, again I'm going to rant a little bit now, the bag for this actually slots into here first but then you know, and then you do that but when you've used it it sticks onto there. These bags are a lot fuller, in fact this one's still pretty much only that full. 
and certainly compared to that one I think there is a lot more space in these ones here but again I want to take that out can I shut this without a bag in it you almost <laughs> almost you almost but again that's enough to store it in my eyes I should have got some flipping bags down when I was up in the loft fetching these out this morning ready to film but I didn't because I'm silly then this one the older one you push off you push there this pivots back and falls off quite easily on here and well this is the first one that has left dirt there so one little minus point for that I suppose and then you pull the whole cartridge out and here you get big old paper bags I think you can probably get HEPA flow type bags for these but yeah big old paper bags oh look with a with a cozy slide these have the spring flap but this one yeah you can close completely oh, i wonder where my local distributor is oh no yeah for work uk in reading 0118 that's reading look at all those distributors i don't know when this bag was made so who knows half of them could not exist anymore there's no date on this bag but yeah you go from massive admittedly paper bags to little tiny and i'd imagine very much more expensive bags for the newer ones oh, and they call that progress these are even bigger than these but these will filter a heck of a lot better still pretty that little spotless inside of there can we put this back together without having a bag in it i think we possibly can because there is nothing for this to care about and I'll just have to put a note on them. I'll set a tape, a little post-it note, say no bag fitted. So that if I ever get them back out again, I will know. But I think, I have to lay that down because it won't stand up. I think that brings us to the end of this random Vorwerk versus match. And not quite the result I was expecting. I don't actually like this as much as I thought I would because on the wrong surface it is terrible Phoenix. on the wrong surface it's pretty horrible to use certainly glues itself down so much I think you would do physical damage to it if you try to push it across on max but equally on soft there's bugger all suction anyway in on medium there's too much this one has more mod cons to make it you know actually quite nice I mean you can turn the brush roll on and off certainly on this head and on another head that I've got you can stand it up and it does have variable power and the design of this floor head means it doesn't suck itself down but then I do now understand why people prefer the older ones because I mean on all three of these in fact I have it over here for this one but I don't think we'll be using it you can get dedicated hard floor heads here is the hd60 that goes with this model and yeah this is another thing with the vol works you're always normally chopping and changing the heads now actually i'd imagine this this probably wouldn't snow plow itself down on the hard floor because it just doesn't have to it's a nice change your head and I've got this same head for this one and this one comes with its own hard floor head but again you're chopping and changing around whatever you do but for just normal carpet cleaning I actually think I prefer this one especially based on what we've done what do you think comment down below which was your was your favorite of these and why and if you own a vor work or many of them what do you like about yours? What model is it as well? That is key. But yeah, what do you think? Is modern better in this scenario? I don't think these modern ones are going to last as well as these do. That's been proven to me. Obviously, it's proven with the putting together of this. But who knows? That could just be my bias on the matter. But either way... We have demonstrated them all. I have now filmed the last video with this one, so it's ready to go back home to Mr. James, and whatever he's going to do with it will be done. And until next time, for more Vorwerk shenanigans, I'm sure, I 
and certainly these two here, we'll see you soon. Bye bye.